In this video, we will be creating a group policy and enabling a single setting that's called always wait for the network at computer startup and log on. And the main reason for this policy is down here. And here you see a few error events from the event log that you might be getting if you're trying to install software using group policy without enabling that group policy setting. Let's scroll back up. And as you can see in the notes here, it says that if you want to guarantee a software installation, you need to enable this policy to ensure that Windows waits for the network to be available before applying policy. Otherwise, the computer might start processing group policy before network is loaded. And for example, if you're installing a software, it would not have access to the necessary installation files that are on the network and the software installation would fail and that's what was happening in my test environment and after enabling this policy i didn't have a single issue with software installations and now i will go to my windows domain controller that's installed in vmware workstation and we can start creating this policy to enable this feature and for that let's go to tools group policy management now on the left let's right click group policy objects click new i will name this group policy wait for network and click ok now we can expand group policy objects find the policy that we created right click it and click edit And now we want to go to policies, administrative templates, uh, expand system, or click on it and then find logon. I will sort by setting. And here we have always wait for the network at computer startup and logon. Let's double click it. And the only thing that we want to do here is to click enable apply and ok now we can close this window we can also click on the policy and go to the details and here in gpo status we can uh, disable user configuration settings because this policy only has computer settings and that's basically it for creating it and the last thing that we need to do is to link this group policy to organization units which are holding our computers and we need to look at it here as you can see i have two organization units that are holding my computers and those are domain computers one and domain computers two and to link it i will just click and hold and then drag and drop on the organization unit as you can see it appeared here and I will do the same for the domain computers too. And that's basically it for this video. I didn't figure out any way to demonstrate that this group policy is working. So you can let me know in the comments down below if it helped you. And like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.